in recent years art seems to have had an intense preoccupation with death and although I also find this an interesting subject for me it seems to have been portrayed from the standpoint of a person who believes that they are immortal. In modern times death is both denied and glorified at the same time. But you know if there's one thing we can all be absolutely certain of is that we all will one day die. It is an undeniable and unescapable fact. Therefore it seems only logical and practical to accept this as a fundamental part of life. And it is life rather than death that is of particular interest to me and therefore this is the focus of my own work. However, I realise that in order to create images of life I must first understand what life means, at least what it means for me. What do I actually believe life is? Well, I believe in the existence of some form of Almighty Creator. I therefore also believe in the existence of a soul. The soul, for me, is the very essence of who we are. It contains our consciousness, our memories and all our life experiences. Our physical body is simply a vessel in which carries the soul while we are in this three-dimensional world. When the body dies, the soul continues on into some other dimension, which is often called heaven. If then I take this as a fact, which I do, then the question of death no longer exists, because there is no real death. Instead comes another question. The question is, why do we live in human form at all? I mean, our life on Earth, in this third dimension, is but a blink of an eye in terms of time. But our life in the spiritual multidimensional form is actually eternal. So, this begs the question as to why did God simply just create, not create us as spiritual beings in the first place? Why bother with a three-dimensional existence at all? This is the question that initially inspired my work. Realistically, I, I don't think it's possible to answer this question, not while we are in a three-dimensional state at least. However, it does suggest a couple of things. One, that we are on some kind of journey. After all, it seems that we are going uh, from a po process of moving uh, from one dimension into another. So therefore it's a journey. Secondly, it suggests that our period in this three-dimensional life is, for some reason, vital for us to experience. I came to the conclusion then that it must be therefore extremely important how I live, what I do and what I can learn whilst in this period of three-dimensional existence. However, 
how is it possible to know which is the best way to do that? Well, I have a clue. If my next life after the death of this one is a spiritually based uh, existence, then surely living this life in a spiritual way would maybe give me a head start. The spiritual knowledge gained living in this way would surely be extremely beneficial to take with me into the next life.